Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share 1 Peter 1 verses 1 to 9. Here's the Word of God. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, According to the foreknowledge of God the Father in the sanctification of the, of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ and for sprinkling with His blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to His great mercy, He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes through, the, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not know, now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. First Peter 1, 1 to 9. And here is uh, the poem I wrote based on those verses. Born again to a living hope. Those who are chosen by Christ are sanctified and given the Holy Spirit. It is the presence of God in them who gave them gifts when they believed. May all those who are elect be able to live the new lives they were given. It is the Lord who granted them a bounty of undeserved favors and blessings. Because of the sacrifice on the cross of Jesus and his resurrection, we are assured of eternal life even though we meet endless tribulations. Even though you haven't really laid eyes on Jesus Christ, you love him. This also is a gift from the Lord so we can receive all the Spirit gives. While we were still sinners, He committed to save us and have life eternal. We were promised a life where we will be able to praise God forever. We have been born again to a living hope so we can rejoice with joy. Let the testing of your faith be more precious than silver or gold. Reflection. What does it mean to be born again to a living hope? Okay, the, that term born again is probably I'm going to use a phrase that would uh, be a paraphrase of born again. It means to be transformed into a new life. So um, as, uh, as one of the Pharisees were asking Jesus how are you going to be born again when you're an adult? You can't go back to the womb of your mother and be born again. So what it means is to be spiritually renewed. Uh, because before we were chosen by God, we were all sinners. Due to the fact that uh, Adam and Eve gave us that original sin to all mankind. So to be born again means to live a life that is transformed for Jesus. And the phrase, to be born again to a living hope. It means that our lives should exude love. Our lives should manifest that we are new creation in Christ. Uh, we cannot continue to be how we lived before we were saved because to be saved means that we live saved lives. We do not live the life that we used to live anymore. We were transformed 
by the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So it is an oxymoron to be depressed and be a Christian because that is not um, uh, a manifestation of a reformed and new life. So to be born again is to be reformed from your old and into your new. So uh, there are many people who think that um, to, to believe in God is that to just be the same as you are and not have fruits. To be born again to a living hope means that you are bearing fruits from the Spirit um, because as soon as we were promised the Holy Spirit in us, we are promised transformed lives and that we are going to be able to have those those gifts or uh, the spiritual gifts uh, which are the fruits which is joy love patience kindness gentleness and so on so it's important for us to remember that we are born again to a living hope that we are not living in this uh, corrupt world being so depressed and so um, discouraged by all the things that we go through. We need to endure suffering so that we will receive that salvation that has been stored for us forever when we are one in Jesus. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and bring you the Word of God. Thanks for watching.